Dead, dead people. people. Right. Dead people on title. Right? See it all the time. Right. You, you research the records and you find out that the property is owned by someone who's died. Yep. That person, surprisingly, isn't going to be able to sign any of the documents that we're talking about. So now the question is, where did the property go when the person died? And people have wills, some people don't have wills. Yep. As the title company, as people in the real estate industry, it's not our, we can't determine whose will is correct. Is that the latest will? Even if the will says that John gets the property. Even if it's crystal clear. Even if it's yeah. crystal clear, yeah. we can't yeah. tell. So one of the things that we're looking for is who has the authority to sign on behalf of this person's estate? Because we're presuming that the property is in the person's estate. Yep. And yep. that's where we've got to go to court. Yep. So we have to open up a probate estate, have the judge or a court actually appoint somebody to sign on behalf of the now deceased. And with those letters of authority, they're right. called, then we can move through the transaction. The proceeds would go actually into the estate and it would be distributed out through, uh, through the probate proceedings. And it's not as hard as what people think. Right. If it's a right. simple estate, a lot of times you just go to the court, they'll walk you through a lot of yep. the paperwork, yep. someone gets appointed as the personal representative of the estate, yep. and then they can sign the documents. Yep. Sometimes you don't even need an attorney. It really, it depends on the size of the person's estate. Yeah, because the challenge is we have people that will come in and say, it is crystal clear, I was the, I'm the only heir, look at this will, how can there be a problem? And under state law, you have to go through the mechanism of probate to formally transfer that property out of the estate to whoever it's going to. And it becomes a surprise to some people because they may have already closed mom's account and sold mom's right. car. Exactly. They never probated yep. the estate and all of a sudden now they've yep. sold the house and now we've got to probate the estate. Yep.